Shanghai just hosted what may have been the world's largest ever gathering of humanoid robots. The 2025 World Artificial Intelligence Conference featured more than 150 fake humans with 60 distinct models from more than 80 companies. The futuristic display comes amid an intensifying technological arms race with the West. I mean, that I don't like the name artificial anything because it's not artificial, it's genius. It's pure genius. As the Trump White House dismantles regulatory barriers and rejects international oversight, the Chinese government is proposing a global alliance to control artificial intelligence. In the rush towards superintelligence, Beijing wants the global south to train next-gen machines on its terms, not Silicon Valley. China's message is clear. If you don't trust Washington, come to Shanghai. The People's Republic is treating humanoids as a core pillar of its national AI strategy, setting out to own the global market by 2027. They view robots, like the ones on display in China's most populous city, as the future of everything. The following are the biggest developments emerging from the event. Shanghai's own Keenan Robotics debuted its first bipedal service humanoid robot named the X-Man F1. Keenan featured the new humanoid as its centerpiece for its embodied service experience hub during the conference. X-Man humanoids serve mixed drinks and popcorn to attendees, while Keenan demonstrated its new humanoid's closed-loop integration with its other autonomous robots. Keenan also showcased its wheeled X-Man humanoids and its broader suite of multi-form service bots. The company has shipped more than 100,000 mobile robots and currently leads the global commercial service robotics market. The X-Man F1's pricing hasn't been revealed publicly, but Keenan sells its other service robots starting around $13,000. The new biped's pricing is likely substantially higher. Another Shanghai-based robotics company, Droid Up, went viral during the show with its hyper-realistic androids. The company's synthetic humans feature lifelike silicone skin and rich expression simulation capabilities. DroidUp launched its Walker 2 humanoid robot heading into the conference. The lightweight robot, which stands about 170 centimeters tall and weighs just 30 kilos, is reportedly being tested for scenarios like public security patrols and factory worker training. The local robotics firm Fourier brought its next-generation humanoid companion robot with emotional intelligence capabilities. Its Gen 3 flagship humanoid is a dramatic departure from its predecessors, at least one of which was seen directing traffic in Shanghai. Standing 134 centimeters, or about 4 feet 5 inches, Fourier's GR3 is intended for use in homes, schools, hospitals, and public spaces. Fourier, which is celebrating its 10th anniversary, released this CGI teaser video showing a friendly-looking robot with a warm cream-colored exterior, rounded body, and expressive eyes. The company also shared footage from its lab hinting that there's a desktop variant with a possible upgrade path to bipedal. Another local firm, the rising startup Agibot, brought its range of humanoids and apparently a robotic dog. The company, which was launched in 2023, says it's manufactured at least a thousand humanoids already. During the conference, Agibot and Daemon Technology, a leading Chinese logistics automation firm, announced they're launching what they call the industry's first humanoid robot logistics training and data collection facility. They said their goal is to move logistics systems from mechanical execution to next-generation machines that make autonomous decisions. We will implement it on a large scale in the second half of this year. Hundreds of these humanoid robots. By next year, our expectation is to arrive at more than 2,000 units of this scale. Enter all walks of life. Hangzhou-based Unitree Robotics brought its combat-trained G1 humanoid robots for live boxing. Viral clips circulating on social media show Unitree's short humanoids battling each other in the ring, remotely controlled by operators. 
They delivered punches, kicks, and dodges while maintaining balance. The G1's moves, like straight punches and hip rotation kicks, are powered by motion capture based training and reinforcement learning. The G1 robot, standing 127 centimeters or about 4 foot 2, has soared in popularity over the past year thanks to its relatively low entry price of $16,000. Unitree generated significant buzz heading into the conference unveiling its next-generation humanoid robot priced under $6,000. The Ultralight R1 robot, which is about the same height as Unitree's original Short King, went viral with demo footage showcasing its kickboxing and athletic capabilities. According to Unitree, the standard edition of the R1 boasts 26 degrees of freedom and is powered by a quick-release battery with a one-hour duration. A higher-end model version includes extended developer features like optional dexterous hands with force feedback, an NVIDIA Jetson Orin module, and secondary development support via an SDK. The success of Unitree's G1 launch inspired a plethora of short humanoids for research and development, including Magic Labs Z1, which made its public debut during the Shanghai event. The wushi based startup, officially known as Magic Atom Robotics Technology, brought its full lineup of AI-powered machines including its full-size Magic Bot Humanoids, its Robotic Dogs, and its Magic Hand S1, which features 11 degrees of freedom. PND Botics brought the latest iteration of its flagship humanoid robot Atom, which recently rocked the stage playing guitar during China's Voyage X Festival. The startup used the event to launch its new solution, developed in partnership with the Beijing-based companies Noidum Robotics and Inspire Robots, for collecting and analyzing motion data using its Atom U humanoid platform. The Atom U robot is a half-humanoid built specifically for data collection and manipulation training. It has 31 degrees of freedom, including two in its head. It also features dexterous hands with six degrees of freedom each. The full package combines Noidum's PN Link suit for capturing body motions and inspires robotic hand tech. Pre orders are already open, and units in stock are priced around $45,000 each. Shenzhen based Cyborg Robotics brought its first heavy duty industrial humanoid, the Cyborg R1. The full-sized bipedal humanoid boasts 62 degrees of freedom and dexterous hands with 16 degrees each. Its lifting capacity with both arms is 20 kilos or 44 pounds. The startup says it's developing the humanoid for high-risk, high-load industrial environments. Another rising Shenzhen firm, Ledger Robot, debuted its material sorting automation tech during the spectacle. The company's flagship humanoid, Quavo, is a full-sized bipedal robot designed for applications across logistics and manufacturing. It's powered by Huawei's Pangu Large Language Model for embodied intelligence, supporting voice commands and autonomous task execution. Ledger reported 250 orders for the robot earlier in 2025, exceeding half-year targets. For a comprehensive rundown of the other humanoids to watch out for in 2025, check the related video.